winning the Breeder Award, it was pretty amazing. There's a lot of great people that have won that award that have gone before us, and we don't even think of ourselves as being in that category. Made things a lot better after the last four or five years that the dairy industry has really struggled with. It kind of reignited the fire in us. Goes back to uh, what my eighth grade teacher taught me. He said, there's a lot more talented people than you, but no one works harder than you. So I think that's a testament to, to what we do every day. What I enjoy every day is having the ability to work with my wife and kids, seeing the, the joy that my kids have right now at that age where they're, they're gung-ho about it, the passion they're starting to acquire. We run about 300 acres of land, about 150 acres of alfalfa. We sell that to our neighbor, and then we use that money to buy uh, hay from out west. Uh, it allows us to focus a little bit more on quality that we can do around here on a day-to-day -day basis rather than having our time take up with field work. So we made that change about six years ago, and it's probably one of the best things that we've done for our operation. Currently, we got about 250 animals on site, about 120 milk cows and dry cows. The rest are heifers. So our cows get milked in a traditional tie stall barn with long day lighting, tunnel ventilation, new Krayberg mattresses, Krayberg rubber in the alleyway, and with automatic takeoffs, we can get 100 cows milked in about an hour and 35, hour and 40 minutes. Our rolling herd average right now is 24. We're right around a 4.1 fat and a 3.15 protein. Our cell count is consistently under 100,000. Our BAA is 110.7, it's been as high as 111.2. It helps contribute to the pedigree of the heifers that we like to sell in the spring of every year. This is one of my favorite cows in the whole barn. She lets the girls milk her. Like they get right underneath her and wipe and put the milker on themselves and she never gives you an ounce of trouble. So that's definitely my, my perfect cow. You know, we think the whole scene is a perfect cow just because I think it's a perfect combination of type, production, feed efficient animals that uh, are here to set us up for a sustainable, profitable future. I've been part of the dairy registered Holstein community in general for as long as I can remember. So I've always been really interested in the history of it and the, the pedigrees and the family lines. So I register all the calves with Easy, which is actually really super handy. They send you the ear tags and you don't need pictures, you don't need to draw anything. We also do Holstein Complete so that everything's kind of included in our bundle and that's been really handy too with registrations and you know, pay a little bit every month with the bill and it's all right there. That I think is the best part about having registered Holsteins is you have this wealth of information basically at your fingertips and it's amazing the things that you'll find. I think that's rubbed off on my daughter Adela because she's been reading registration papers and she remembers, you know, if we have something that was maybe bred by something else, she remembers all this stuff. A big chunk of our breeding philosophy revolves around show type. You know, we sell 12 to 15 show efforts a year. This year we've had some sell from Maryland all the way to California. It's the bug that everyone's got. You know, they want one that's going to compete. And so that's what we try and breed for is to sell ones that are going to compete on a national level. The biggest thing that keeps us optimistic, I believe, for the dairy industry is I think things are starting to come full circle now where People are starting to see where their food comes from on a daily basis. People want to buy local. They want to buy food that comes from places where they know the people that are producing it, you know. We actually had a Girl Scout troop from Milwaukee come and their moms. I think that was the best part. Uh, their moms came and toured everything and I showed them how well we treat our cattle, how well they eat, probably better than all of us, <laughs> you know, very balanced diet. They milked a cow. I showed them how a milker worked, you know, with the vacuum and where the milk goes in the pipeline. So I just, I would like to invite consumers to the farm to show them how we do it. My wife and I are extremely involved in uh, our area associations. The big thing that drives us for that is we really love kids. And the other thing that drives it is I didn't grow up with them opportunities, and I see how much them opportunities, the networking, the friendships, how much of a path that can set you up for success down the road. To me, that's the biggest thing is to make sure kids 
have the opportunities that I didn't have growing up because I can see the value in them. So, you know, do we want to grow our BAA? Yes. Do we want to have more All-American nominations? Yes. But I think if we can instill in our kids the values that's going to set them up for a lifetime of success, that's probably our biggest goal.